Finally tonight, America is a nation of immigrants. Most of our ancestors came from somewhere else. Maybe that's why the U.S. Department of State accepts more refugees into this country than all the other countries of the earth combined. 72% of the people who are resettled as a result of war or persecution are welcomed here. We wanted to show you how. So we asked Seth Doan to catch up with a family that fled the long civil war in Burma in Southeast Asia and arrived in a strange and wonderful place today. The Ali family landed in Syracuse, New York today. Refugees from tropical Burma, they came with no coats, no savings, just an American dream. I'm just hoping for a job, Mohammed told us, and a better life for my family. We met the family earlier this month in a refugee camp in Thailand. What is this for? Here they were getting lessons in American life. Do you see any firewood here? Mohammed's wife marveled at an oven. And we have hot water, cool water. In this mock-up of a Western-style home, many things that are routine in America seemed unknown here. Okay, please show me, how do you use that? <laughs> Mohammed came to this camp of 47,000 when he was just 15. There are more than a dozen of these camps along the Burma border. Some have been here for 30 years. They're safe havens for ethnic minorities who fled villages destroyed by Burmese soldiers. When I was in Burma, I was tortured, he told us. Burmese soldiers discriminated against simple people like us. I just could not bear it anymore. Mohammed told us he can't go back to Burma and can't find work in the camp. For him, the only option is to leave for good. Since 2006, around 55,000 Burmese refugees, once living here in Thailand, have been resettled to the United States, 20,000 from this camp alone. The majority of the students have lived here longer than 15 years. Sarah Kaufman works for the International Rescue Committee, which helps prepare refugees for the culture shock of life in North America. They learn about employment, finding a job, the education system, U.S. laws, transportation, international travel, a lot of, a lot of different topics. In a relatively short period of time. Maximum five days. Do you have a place like this at home? What they lack in practical skills, Kaufman said, won't prevent them from succeeding. Many have strong family values. They take care of their children. They value education. These things will be useful in the United States. I would like to have a better opportunity for my family, Mohammed told us. I hope for a better life and equality. Hello, welcome. Today, he and his family took their first steps toward that American dream. Seth Doan, CBS News, Thailand.